It's always a good day when you're handed over the keys to a V8 car for review. But today is a little extra special and right up my alley since I am the resident diesel merchant of the driver's hub. Haven't connected the dots yet? Well, under what is a rather unassuming Audi A8 L from 2013 lies a 4.2-litre V8 TDI engine and it is a very cool car. Let's talk all about it in today's episode of Auto Culture. All of the models of this generation of Audi have very similar, uncannily similar design languages which makes them a little difficult to uh, decipher from A4 to A8 at a first glance. However, at a second glance, this is very obvious that it is a massive executive class luxury limousine because it is so long in terms of wheelbase that you cannot miss it. Yes, its design is very subdued and understated making it very easy to sneak into places. However, it is massive, so it means that you can only sneak into very large places. And when it comes to differentiating the V6 to the big 4.2 litre V8 is nothing else but the badge. It is safe to say that Audis of this generation have aged rather gracefully. They aren't uh, very shouty vehicles and they blend in very well in traffic. This is uh, no different, especially since it is maintained so well that this car looks like it's actually out of uh, the factory. From this angle specifically, you can actually see how long this car is. And the L in A8L is actually focused on the rear doors, making sure that the rear passenger, which is where the VIP would be sitting in in this car, uh, would be the most comfortable. So why not let's open that door and see how comfortable would he actually be. This is the PS de Resistance of the Audi A8L, the back seat. It is nothing short of a first class experience. The space is ridiculous and everything is the best of the best. The quality of the leathers are really nice. You've got pretty much access to any form of infotainment that you want. You have four zone climate control which is adjustable from the rear seat itself and you've also got adjustable seats all over it which make this a very nice, comfortable experience. The ride quality is also fantastic from the back. Since the car runs on air suspension, it is a very supple ride and the undulations of the road are really not felt behind over here. In terms of privacy, you've got curtains all over in the rear and towards each and every window, making it a nice private place to be in. But what's special about this specific car is not the back seat, it's when you take the wheel of the car and enjoy it. So let's just do that. The A8L on the inside does a very good job at isolating all of whatever is going on on the outside. The sound insulation is fantastic. There is hardly any form of feedback that comes from the suspension into the cabin. And whatever it is, is very subtle. So ondulations, changes of angle on the road, all of that is very feelable in a good sense because all of the harshness is muted away from the suspension making it a very plush ride even in the front. There is a lot of adjustability just like in the rear. The seat controls are immense. You can change uh, the angle of the shoulder padding, you can change the length of the thigh adjustment, you can basically do anything you want. Even the seat belt is electronically adjusted. The height of the seat belt is electronically adjusted. The interior and the experience overall is super uber luxury style, making this a very nice luxury limousine, even if you are going to be the driver yourself. But what you want to know is the difference that V8 makes right in front. So let's find an empty patch that isn't this rough and let's push the car a little bit and see what it's about. Now when it comes to having fun behind the wheel of the A8L, 
I am very happy to report that it is very quick to put a smile on your face. That surge of 800 newton meters of torque never disappoints, and no matter what kind of gear you're in, just put it in dynamic mode, and it'll do it for yourself. This thing picks up pace, completely making you forget that this thing weighs well over two tons. I'm actually giggly right now and lost for words just because of how effortless this car is at picking up pace. So yeah, definitely consider this car if you want something really exotic and special as a diesel and something that is ridiculously versatile for the city. However, keep in mind that this is not for the faint-hearted. And because a car of this caliber is always going to be designed for a certain elite clientele, it is expensive to maintain. So keep that in mind if you're in the market for one of these. Open the bonnet in this V88L, and you are greeted by a very satisfying view. You see, with the V6 TDI in the A8L, there's quite a lot of empty spots that. Uh, might not make it that satisfactory to look at but this V8 is so massive that it covers all of the bonnet giving you a really nice place to look at now a uh, cool history bit about these TDI large displacement V format engines is that all of their technology and their development was through Le Mans Audi was actually mad enough to race at Le Mans with diesel engines and develop diesel technology for Le Mans, which was very beneficial for them because they won them multiple years. Now they made V12s, they made V10s, they made V8s, and even the V6 in my A4 has a little bit of that Le Mans tech. But when it comes to this V8, this is pushing out 346 bhp and a whopping 800 newton meters of torque, which is supplied to all four wheels through uh, Audi's Quattro system. This A8L is no slouch, capable of doing 100 kilometers per hour from a standstill in 5.5 seconds, which is all done in the most effortless of manners. Keep the pedal to the metal, and you'll be propelled with real intensity all the way up to its limited top speed of 250 kilometers per hour. That being said, the Audi feels the happiest when it's pondering about in absolute silence, using all of that displacement for refinement at cruising speeds instead of outright power. Being a diesel, you also get some decent mileage considering it's a massive 4.2 liters of displacement, around 7 kilometers per liter in the city and 11 kilometers per liter on the highways, which is fantastic for a V8 if you ask me. The cabin is nothing short of a first-class experience. You're welcomed by rich leather, soft materials, and polished metal inserts. The A8L is nothing short of a super sedan in my eyes. It's got amazing size. It's got fantastic luxury, and A fantastic engine underneath, but it's not for the faint-hearted. You see, if you have the capability of owning something like this and running it, well, you're in for an experience of a lifetime. This is all that you need for any form of activity inside the urban area, which, in my opinion, is a real badass car. Because wherever you go, you will be treated like a boss. That's it from my side. Do let me know what are your thoughts on. The A8L 4.2 TDI, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.